Education, training, youth and sport, the EU cares about them all. Since 1987, the Erasmus programme has been supporting mobility of young people. More than three million students have studied in another European country thanks to Erasmus. The upgraded version of the EU programme, adopted by the European Parliament for 2014 to 2020, is Erasmus+. 14.7 billion euros will provide opportunities for over 4 million Europeans to study, train, gain experience and volunteer abroad. This represents more than 2 billion euros a year, in which the majority of funds goes to education and traineeships. One tenth goes to youth, and a bit less than 2% for sport. There's a stronger focus on improving young people's job prospects and tackling youth unemployment. Five years after graduation, the unemployment rate of young people who studied or trained abroad is 23% lower than that of their peers who didn't. But who can benefit from these mobility exchanges? Students in higher education, up to 2 million, including 450,000 trainees. Students seeking vocational training and apprentices, up to 650,000 grants. Volunteers and youth workers, about 500,000 young people. And teachers, youth trainers and other staff. Opportunities here for 800,000 people. Well, it seems to be coming.